Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to change your Wi-Fi password on your Virgin Hub 5. So this is the password that everyone needs when they connect to it. Right, let's get cracking. Open up a web browser on any computer linked to the current Wi-Fi network. And at the top type in this web address which I'll also put in the description so you can copy and paste it. This gives you access to your Hub 5. Then you need to put in the password and this password is written down on the underside of your hub. Type that in. And then click on next. This then takes you to your hub 5 dashboard. On the left hand side go to advanced settings wireless then click on security. And here we've got the Wi-Fi network name and the current Wi-Fi password. If you just select all of that then you can put in a new password and underneath it tells you the strength of the password and as this is a modern hub router it uses two frequencies the 2.4 gigahertz range has a longer distance range and the 5 gigahertz covers shorter distances so it's a lot faster if you keep the wi-fi network name the same on each it also changes the passwords on both of those if you scroll down then click on apply changes And because we've applied this change on a computer that's linked to the Wi-Fi, we will now lose the Wi-Fi connection on this particular computer because obviously we've changed the password. So as soon as it loses the connection, click on that Wi-Fi network icon. Then you need to right click on the Lurgs Wi-Fi and select forget. That means we forget the network. Then we connect back to it again and it will ask for the password. So if we put the password back in, then put in the password that we set up earlier on the router, and that is Lurg's new Wi-Fi 5, then click on next. And this will now connect to the Wi-Fi router with the new password. Now don't forget any gadgets that you've got, laptops, iPhones, tablets, Alexas, Echoes, they will all need to be updated with the latest passwords so that they can connect to it. If we go back in, we can see that the password has been changed. And then at the top, if you just select log out, and I'll tell you what, that definitely deserves a lovely cup of tea. Oh. If you found that useful, there's a video over here about how to print multiple pictures on one page in Windows 10. And on this side, there's a video on how to take screenshots in Windows 10. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.